Good morning, I'm certified meteorologist Brandon Orr. We got a heat advisory out again for the entire state of Florida. All of us here in South Florida included in that heat index up to 110 degrees again today. Very similar to what we had around yesterday. High temperatures right around 95 degrees, so it's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, and we have a few storms in the mix later on today, but not everyone's going to see it. Kind of like what we had yesterday. We had a few storms in spots, others stay dry, not a washout of a day, plenty of dry time. The main storm track is staying well to the north. That's where we have a big time severe weather threat from Atlanta to Raleigh, North Carolina, up to Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia. In fact, the wind threat could see widespread wind damage, or especially right around the Washington, D.C. to Baltimore areas. We'll be watching out for that later on today. Otherwise, here in South Florida, we're too far away from that storm track. No organized storm systems down here, so it's more just typical garden variety, pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Not expecting any of this to become severe. We're kind of on the far back end of our severe weather season, which runs from about May to August, and then it really takes a nose dive as we go into September. So not too concerned about anything severe today. Just a few pop up storms hopefully help cool us off because it's going to be hot not only today, but also in the coming days. High temperatures hovering right there into the middle 90s. Watching out for a tropical wave that could increase our rain chances a little bit going into next weekend. Lots of time to keep an eye on that. And of course, we'll keep you updated on local10.com. Take us with you with our free weather authority app. Have a good one.